this drawing, I'm going to be using Ibis Paint X with my iPad and Apple Pencil for this drawing, but you can use a pencil and paper. Hello, today I'll be showing you how to draw Deku for My Hero Academia. So I drew a circle to draw the head and then I drew the chin. And here I'm, I drew guidelines so that I know where the eyes and the mouth go. And then you want to draw the neck by going around the middle of the chin and then draw shoulders. I'm using the transform tool to make it bigger and more uh, the main focus. I then drew one of Deku's eyes and then later I copy and paste it. So I draw his eyebrows and then I just copy and paste the eyes because I'm lazy. Here's where I started drawing his nose and his pupils. And then I draw his uh, mouth. I ended up redoing the eyebrows here because I didn't really like them a whole lot. But if you're happy with your eyebrows, don't do that. Now you want to start drawing his uniform. Which isn't that hard because you don't have to draw wrinkles or anything because it's only the headshot. To help with drawing his hair, I lower the opacity of this layer so that I can see the hair better. Deku's hair isn't that hard, it's just a bunch of floofs, but keep in mind that they all point kind of to the right, so keep that in mind when you're drawing his hair. After I finished drawing his hair, I redid the opacity of the first layer and then erased it so that I could see it better. After the sketch is done, I merged the two layers so that it's easier to do line art. Line art is basically just chasing over your sketch so that you can color it. And don't worry if your line art is sketchy or a little bit messy because over time as you practice it more, it'll get smoother and cleaner to easier to see. Once you finish the line art, you need to make a layer underneath the line art. And then here I'm picking a dark green for Deku's hair. Just use the fill bucket and tap the space where his hair is. And then here I am filling in the white spaces because sometimes the fill bucket doesn't get everything. Then you want to create a new layer. It doesn't matter if it's above his hair or what. And then I pick a green, but I didn't like that green. So I picked another green for his eyes. Then you'll want to create another layer. And I just picked a, one of the pre-generated skin tones for his skin and made it a bit more to where his actual skin tone is in the anime. And then I have to erase his eyes for the whites of his eyes. Then you want to create another layer and then pick a dark blue for his uniform and fill bucket that. And don't forget to fill in all the white spaces because usually on the finished project product you can see it and it doesn't look as great as it uh, could be with filled in spaces. Here I'm setting a clipping layer on Deku's hair and then I get a darker color and then I shade the places where his hair would cause a shadow.
I like to airbrush the bottom part of the hair, kind of, so where it's closer to the skin. Create another layer and then um, change back to a hard brush and then get a light lighter color than the base color of the hair and start highlighting places. It's important not to do too many highlights because if you do too many it can make your piece look too cluttered and too bright. So only do it where either the light hits or where you want to draw attention to. When you're finished with the hair, set a clipping layer on the eyes and then start shading the eyes. So grab a dark layer color and then shade the top part of the eyes. Then turn on alpha lock and shade the very top of the shaded part and then blur it so that it gives it more depth. When you're done doing the shading on the eyes, add another clipping layer and get a lighter color and then shade the, the eye with the lighter color on the bottom part of the eye. And don't be worried if it overlaps the shaded part. Once you're finished shading the eye, add a clipping layer to the skin and grab the airbrush. Grab the base color of the skin, make it darker and warmer, and shade the top part of it. Once you're done with this, grab your hard brush again and then begin shading. It's okay if you use the color that you use the gradient for, because the gradient will be a lighter version. When you're done shading the skin, grab a lighter and cooler co version of the color and start highlighting the places where there'd be highlights. For example, the edge of the chin, the nose, and part of the cheeks. Here I got a darker version of what I used to shade and I got the airbrush and just shaded the parts that were darker just to give it more depth and to make it look nicer, but that's optional. Create a clipping layer for the uniform, grab a darker color with your hard brush, and then there's not a whole lot of places to shade the uniform, so I just shaded the parts where it is around Deku's neck and the very bottom. I got a lighter color because the uniform is so dark that you can't really see the shading, so I got a lighter color so you, it brings more attention to the shading, and it doesn't make it look just like a blob of clock then you'll want to make a layer under all of your coloring layers and get a i use a bluish gray but you can use a gray of any color really and i shaded the parts that are white then make a layer above everything including the line art and make it completely white and start adding highlights so you can add highlights to the eyes and the hair which is what i did Make your drawing appear softer, create a clipping layer above the line art, and then grab a darker color of whatever the line art is on, and then shape, color it. And this includes the skin, the hair, and I didn't have to do the uniform, but I did anyway. Here I'm picking a color for the background, so to do this, just go underneath all your layers. Create a layer underneath your line art, and then press the filter button, and then press the option that'll outline your entire draw drawing, your line art, and then put it above the background so that it gives it a white outline. Now 
here I'm signing my art and I would recommend signing your art if you're planning to post it online. The reason you do this is because one, so people can find your account and two, it makes it harder for people to steal your art. This is the finished project. Thanks for watching.